Hello again, welcome back. Alright, so now that we can accept a quest and get our reward, we need to do two things. We need to remove that quest from the quest giver so that we can't just complete the same quest over and over again. And we need to remove those items from our player that, uh, that was needed. So inside the quest icon is where this will be accomplished. So at the very end where we quest complete, I'm going to... Oh, got to add a variable. Variable is going to be our quest screen widget that uh, this currently resides in. So quest screen widget object reference. Uh, instance editable expose on spawn. Compile that. Let's go to the quest screen itself. And in the graph. Quest icon, let's refresh that. Refresh that node, and now the quest screen, we can just set a reference to self. So we'll compile real quick. We need to add a custom event at the beginning. Custom event, and I'm just gonna call this refresh. So we can just do it right here, right at the very beginning, just like on construct. Compile that back to the quest icon. Now that we have a reference for our quest screen, let's get it. And we are going to get our quest giver out of it. From the quest giver, we are going to get quest list. And we're going to remove item. The item that we're going to remove is going to be the quest ID right up yonder. So I'm going to hook it all the way up like this and then drop it down. Just kind of line it up a little bit like that. Terrible. Alright. So I'm going to move these down. So now we're removing that from our quest list and from our quest screen then we need to call that refresh function. Oop, ah. Move all this in line, drop you down. Can really drop this all back, so let's do that. All right, so once we can do that, let's test it real quick just to make sure it's removing everything like it, or that it removes it from the quest giver. Completed and it's gone. And then when I come back, yep, still gone. Cool, good deal, good cool beans. Alright, so now in the quest icon, let's see, right here at the very end where we're removing it from that, from the quest giver, let's drag out our player reference one more time, grab our quest info, break it open. And we're pretty much going to do just like we did up here where we check it all. But now we need to remove it. So, you know, we can just copy. I'm not going to copy. I'll just do it. So, all right. So I'm going to get my player's inventory one more time. Just in case y'all need to, y'all want to see it again, I'll, I'll do it again. So I'm going to do a for each loop off of the inventory array. Going to break it open. Now from our collectibles, let's get the keys and the values again. So from the loop body, oh no no, let's do that before because we only need to do this like that. So I'm going to get the keys, get the values, and then do the for each loop on our inventory. Now, just like last time, we're going to do a for loop, for each loop inside of a for each loop. So for each loop, hook the first loop body checking the inventory to the next loop body checking the keys. So that we can see if the classes match. And 
if it does, then we want to do a for loop, regular for loop, not a for each, but a for loop. So if the classes match, then we will get a copy of the value at the same index. And we're going to subtract one from it since we're using a for loop and they start at one and this is going to be, you know, not that kind of array that goes from zero to be based on a traditional numerical value. I'm going to hook that to the last index. Grab out the player ref. item but how did I get that last time let's take a look see over at the original quest giver nope quest icon ooh it's a mess in here let's pick up item let's compare this different We're moving from the quest log for each loop alright for loop remove item ah Okay, I'm stupid. Okay, so from the player reference we can just do remove item and then hook that array element right there. Now the reason we're doing it on a loop body is because if you got five different, you're like you need to collect three herbs, you don't want it to just remove one and then let you have the rest. So it's going to loop through and say, alright, we need three so let's go from zero to two zero one two and remove it that many times so just to double check make sure I'm not losing my marbles let's see I pick up one two three I have one two three she needs one two three and I've lost one two three good deal it's working alright so I'm gonna save real quick And, well, let's make this a shorter video, because that's already 